Dear friends, this is Arthur Clarke speaking to you from Colombo, Sri Lanka. I send you greetings and good wishes at the beginning of an adventure that will set the stage for the dream that has inspired so many of us for so long. The permanent breakout of humanity from its cradle to become a multi-planet species. It's fitting that this historic event in human history be catalyzed by the new young leaders of our information age. Innovation and progress are the domains of passionate imaginations that change the rules to fit bold dreams. The Ortig Prize changed the future of aviation by inspiring the creation of the Spirit of St. Louis by Charles Lindbergh. The Ansari X Prize changed the future of personal spaceflight, but it inspired the creation of Spaceship One by Bert Rotan. Now the Google Lunar X Prize will inspire a new fleet of private spacecraft to take humanity back to the moon. With your announcement today, a new breed of private space explorers will be inspired to reach for another world. Imaginations will soar and humanity will once again look up at the moon with a new perspective, knowing it is now within their grasp. I'll be celebrating my 90th birthday in December, a few weeks after the space age completes its first half century. When the late and unlamented Soviet Union launched Sputnik on December 4, 1957, it took only about five minutes for the world to realize what had happened. And though I've been writing and speaking about space travel for years, the moment is still frozen in my own memory. I was in Barcelona attending the 8th International Astronautical Congress. We had retired to our hotel rooms when, after a busy day of presentations, when the news broke. I was awakened by reporters seeking comments on the Soviet space feat. Our theories and speculations had become reality. I was always sure humanity would reach the moon, but I didn't really believe I'd live to see it. And I'm sure I didn't believe that I'd live to see it end. I now know that I am witnessing the rebirth of what we should have done in the first place. We need to go to the moon for the right reasons. We need to find the models and markets for profitable operations that will inspire our entrepreneurs and business leaders, as well as our scientists and engineers. That's the only way to ensure permanence. Notwithstanding the remarkable accomplishments during the past 50 years, I believe that the golden age of space travel is still ahead of us. During 2006, I followed, the interest, I followed with interest the emergence of this new breed of citizen astronauts and private space enterprise. Before the current decade is out, fee-paying passengers will be experiencing suborbital flights aboard privately funded passenger vehicles, built by a new generation of engineer entrepreneurs with an unstoppable passion for space. I'm still hoping I could make such a journey myself. And over the next 50 years, thousands of people will gain access to the orbital realm and thanks to the Google Lunar X Prize to the moon and beyond. Of course, I can't help but romance about what adventures might await our new breed of astropreneurs when they reach the moon. Some 40 years ago, Stanley Kubrick and I generated several thousand meters of celluloid speculating about one possible scenario. And although the truth it will be much stranger than fiction, I'd like to hedge my bet by offering my personal bonus to the Google Lunar Prize if any of the contestants detect 
a strange magnetic anomaly below the surface of the moon. Let me end with an extract from my book, First on the Moon, from 1970. This passage is more relevant today than when it was written in the heady days of Apollo. I'm quoting a book now. It may be that the old astrologers had the truth exactly reversed when they believed that the stars controlled the destinies of men. The time may come when men control the destinies of stars. With the bold strides and visits in today's announcement, I wonder if this prophecy may be closer than I imagined. I congratulate Peter Diamandis and the X Prize Foundation for staging another remarkable challenge that is sure to transform the world once more. And I applaud Larry Page and Sergey Berlin for stepping up with the backing that makes it possible. If I could borrow a line from my friend Neil, this is one small step for Google, one giant leap for Google kind. I'll be watching with great interest as your adventure unfolds. This is Arthur Clarke signing off from Sri Lanka. Let the new moon race begin.